Are you ready to learn how to edit videos on your phone with iMovie? So iMovie is a simple, easy to use software that's free with any Apple device. So iPads, iPhones, MacBook computers, etc. So we have a previous tutorial that I did on how to edit videos with iMovie on a computer. And so today I wanna show you how to do it on your phone. Honestly, it's really easy to use. So I'll walk you through just step-by-step step everything you can do within the software. So let's get into it. Okay, so let's open up iMovie and get started. So it's gonna look something like this. You see the plus symbol, and then you wanna click on that to create a new project and then click on movie. So from there, you wanna select the main videos for your clip. So let's say, you know, these four. And so these are gonna be the ones on your main video timeline. And at the bottom, click on create movie. And then so what's gonna happen is it basically added these four clips to your timeline. So what you can do on the timeline is if you pinch to zoom in or zoom out, it's essentially going to show you more detail for each of these video clips. So if you're trying to just in the beginning, make sure stuff is in the right order, you wanna zoom all the way out. And then if you could click on this and hold down, and then it'll let you essentially change the order. So I could do something like that if I want to move this to be second and essentially figure out, hey, what's the right order for the story that I'm trying to tell. Once you have things in the proper order, it's a matter of trimming the clip. So if I were to select this clip and say I want to zoom in a little bit more and I want to take a couple seconds off the beginning, I could either hold down on the end and then drag inwards like so and then start at this point. This isn't the most exact way to do it. What I would probably do is zoom in pretty close, you know, essentially play or scan to find the part that you want. And then if you click on the clip, what you're gonna see is this menu at the bottom come up. You could click on the scissors and then click on split. And so now that video clip is two clips. So if that beginning part I did not want, I could select it and then select delete. So now that piece is gone from there. So that's how I would normally go through and do that. The next thing you're gonna see on the timeline, so if this is the order we essentially wanted, the little things between the little symbols like this are transitions. I usually don't use transitions, so I would just go to none for all of them. So none, but you can see what a dissolve looks like. It slowly fades from one to the other. But if you wanna see some of the other options like a slide, it essentially works like so but we don't need that. Okay, so we got rid of all of the transitions and it's all set to none. So what happens if say in this clip, for half of it, we wanted to zoom in. So let's say what we could do here is split this in half. And then this part, if we wanted to zoom in, we can click on the little magnifying glass in the top right corner, and this is pinch to zoom. And so what we can do here is essentially align this zoomed in like so. And so you're gonna see the clip in the bottom, it shows the full video, but when you watch it up above, it's zoomed in. So it's gonna go from this and then zoom in like so for the second half of that video clip. So the next thing to take a look at for each of your video clips is the audio. So for example, as I'm recording right now, let's say the audio levels are good, but if I turn down here to do something or move back or do something, it's not gonna be heard as loud. I mean, the same thing with different sounds going on. If there's a bus that goes by and you wanna turn the volume down for a little bit, you're essentially gonna do that for each of the video clips. So. Right now the scissor piece is selected, but if we click on the audio, which you can see that the, the audio clip is at 100%, so you can go up to 500%, or you can essentially mute the audio for, or just you could actually click on the, the speaker and mute it if you wanted, or essentially adjust it to where you saw fit. Another just small thing within the menu here, this is essentially to change the speed of your clip. So if you wanted to make something in slow motion or have it at 2x speed, you could essentially adjust that like so, and then if you wanted to reset it, you just hit the button on the far right. So some other things, so if we just went through and adjusted the audio for the videos how we wanted it, some of the other things that we may wanna add are first, could be sound effects and then music. So I'll go through kind of three easy sources for sound effects or music. So within iMovie, the YouTube audio library or some other music service. So for example, we use Epidemic Sound for sound effects and music. But for right now, let's add a sound effect within what's in iMovie. So if we click the plus button and then we find audio and then we have sound effects. So you can see here we have all sorts of things from alarms, barks, bell towers, bicycle, comedy horns, dinosaur growl, fax machine, hard rain, all sorts of stuff. So let's go with a dinosaur growl. And then so you can hear it. And then if you hit plus, it's gonna add it wherever you were wherever you had the playhead placed in the video. 
Again, if I select this, what's going to happen? It has this speed. Um, I could also adjust the the audio level. So if I wanted the dinosaur growl to be really loud, I could turn that up to whatever 400 and some percent. And then, and then you can hear it like so. The next thing could be to add music. So again, if you hit the plus button, you could have music and soundtracks here. I downloaded something from Epidemic Sound earlier that I have saved in my files, and it's called Jungle Thrill from Bonnie Grace. So if we kind of turn that up a little bit to make sure that we can hear it, let's see. There we go, 300%. Let's go a little further in the song. So there you can hear the dramatic music as if we were watching Jurassic Park. Okay, so we have that. So the next thing would be is if you wanted to add an image to your video, and there's a bunch of different ways to potentially do that. So if you were to hit the plus button and then click on photos, and so we could go look at photos here, here is our dog. And so if you just hit the plus, it's gonna add to the, you know, essentially the closest spot on your timeline. And then what's gonna do is it adds what's called a Ken Burns effect. So it zooms like so. But if we were to select this now, you see Ken Burns enabled, you could disable it or you could disable it if you essentially clicked on it like so, disabled and it just stays as it is. And then you could potentially zoom in or out if you wanted to. Or if you clicked on it to enable, and then so you basically have a start position which you want to choose first. So say this is the start position, then you click the other arrow so that that's blue and you pinch to the end position. So if I wanted to essentially zoom, and so what you're gonna see is if I let this play now, it's gonna zoom in throughout that picture. Okay, so as you could see, it just added the image on the timeline like so, but what if we wanted to add the image to show say on top of something? So how you could essentially do that is if you if we hit the plus again, and then what we wanna do is say, select another image. And then instead of hitting the plus here, what we can hit is the three dots, and then we have a couple of options. So cutaway is essentially replacing whatever's on screen and that, that new image or video shows covering the entire screen. Picture in picture is actually adding an image or video on top of whatever is currently playing. Split screen and green, green, green or blue screen that we'll get into at the end of the video. But at first I wanna show you picture in a picture. So what's gonna happen now is right here for a certain amount of time, this image is gonna show over top. So what I could do, so let's say, oops. So if the, I wanted to make this shorter, I could just trim in like so, so that it's essentially the same length as this other picture. So I'm selected here. So I have essentially, you see there's three things that you can change now. You have the zoom, you have essentially to move it, and you have an outline. So right now we got rid of the outline. And then the next thing I may want to do is move it around. So drag and resize. So if I want it to be bigger or smaller, I can do it like that. So that let's say I want to be, let's say right here. Okay. The next thing I may want to do is to zoom. So I could zoom in something like that and then so we have a deer now that my dog is looking at. So this is essentially what picture in a picture does. These are both images at the moment, but it works essentially the same way with video. So for all of our tutorial videos where it's me in the corner and then there's the computer screen being recorded, it's essentially the same effect of picture in picture. So as you know, this video, and then if I were to do another video clip, videos all. So this is just eight seconds. And then again, so I could play it right now if I wanna see what it was, or I could here add picture in a picture on the timeline like so. And then again, you have all of the same things earlier. If you select the clip, you can get rid of the border, you can move it around and make smaller. And then you could, within that specific clip, you could essentially move it around or zoom in. So now that essentially plays on top of the, the other video. So you have two videos now, picture in a picture, as opposed to two images that I showed you just a second ago. That we don't necessarily need. And so if you want to delete anything, if it's highlighted, 
And then if you click on the scissors, and then you're gonna see delete right here. If for some reason you ever make a change that you didn't want to, you can hit the go back right here. But I did actually want to delete that, so let's do it again. Another thing you can do is potentially add a background. So what we could do here is if we hit plus, we get out of videos, and then right here you see background. So what do we wanna use for a background? Something like, let's go with this bright color. I don't, I can't even tell what's there. So you can see here, this is pink with polka dots as a background now. So again, if I wanted to then go and add something on top of it, I could add an image or video to play on top of it like we just did. So if we go to, you know, video, all, let's say, what do we want to add? Something that's short. Here's our video that you'll see on some of our um, phone recording app tutorials coming up soon, either Filmic Pro or ProTake. But I could do the picture in picture, and it's going to add it right there. So now we have this video. I could do the where is it showing? So with a background behind it, like so, if I wanted to. And so the video, um, there's there's no movement in the video, but that's an actual video clip with the background behind it. So the next thing we may want to do is to add text. So if I wanted to add text to the very beginning of the video, I could go here. And then I could essentially select the clip like so. So here is this clip. And then so we went through some of the earlier pieces of it, the, you know, the scissors, the speed up or slow down, the sound, and then the T is obviously for text. You can see there's a bunch of different kind of animations that you can add from pop-up, focus, gravity standard, slide. So let's add some slide text. So this is the text here. So you can either, so you can move that around you can and then so if you click on it and if you click edit it highlights say the whole thing and you could say say hi to the turkey and then if we clicked on done and then what you'll see here is a couple of different options so if we want to change the font to bakersville and then that done close that out we could change the color of the text so we could make it black yellow, purple, whatever we wanted. Here's white text. And then there's, you know, spectrum and sliders. There's a couple of different options. Or you there a little dropper to match a color. Then closing that out. And then there's additional options. So here, you know, the thing is, so if we look at style, you could change it to lower third. So it just moves it in the corner or where it was. So let's move that again. Back to the settings. So if we wanted, right now it has a shadow that we could remove if we wanted to. Do we want it in uppercase or not? And then do you want it for the full clip duration? So one of the things with text here is each of these things has a certain time limit for it, the, the animations we chose. And so it's only gonna pop up for that amount of time and it's gonna start at the beginning of the clip. So if you want something three seconds into a clip, you essentially need to cut the clip there at three seconds and then that second clip is where you would wanna have the text come up on that particular screen. And then the other thing is if it's a full duration of the clip, so basically it's gonna fade in how it would, it's gonna stay there all the way through the entire clip. So if I turn that on now, um, and then we scroll through the whole thing, it's up and then disappears at the end. But then if we were to then go back again and go to turn that off, what you're gonna see is that it's not at the end of the clip now, it's only for these couple of seconds right at the beginning. Some of the other things here are the very last piece for you know the, the, the options along the bottom would be the color. So there's not as many options here as there is on the computer version, but you can essentially choose different filters. So you can go through and you know choose black and white or Western. You know, I don't really like most of these, so I would probably just leave it as none. Are you looking to grow on YouTube? If so, we have a free YouTube masterclass. It's an hour long training with tons of tips to help you grow on YouTube in 2021. If you're interested in signing up, I'll put a link down below in the description. So the other thing that I promised is showing you the green or blue screen. It's really, really easy to do. If you click on the plus, you, you, know, you need to actually have something with a green or blue screen to add, which I do. So I added a video and then go to all, and then here is the blue screen video clip. 
So I can just play it for you and see it looks something like that where the subscribe button comes up. It basically looks like it's been clicked on and there's a little sound and it turns from subscribe to subscribed. So what I need to do is click the three buttons and click green, blue screen. And then so here it says tap a color to make it transparent. So I click here. Now if I play it, you can see the subscribe to subscribe animation on screen. If you're interested in learning how to create this animation, I have a whole video walking you through step-by-step -step how to do it in DaVinci Resolve, another free software, but on your computer. If you don't wanna go through the trouble of creating the animation yourself and downloading a different video editing software, don't worry. I'll put a copy of the animation, the blue screen animation in the description below that you're welcome to steal and use in your YouTube videos. So if this was essentially your, your video, so you, you cut up, you trim the pieces in the order that you wanted, you have transitions, you have sound, you have sound effects, you have the audio at the right levels, you added text, you have, you know, pictures and zoom and picture and picture, and then we added a green and blue screen. This is my perfect YouTube video. The last thing you would do is just click done. And right from here, you see the button in the middle at the bottom. If you were to click on that, you could essentially save the video. And so if I click on save video, it's going to start exporting the movie. Okay, so what you can see now when the video finishes exporting, it'll say the movie was exported to your photo library. So that's the basics of how to use iMovie on your phone. If you wanna see all of our other videos on how to edit videos, we have a whole playlist that'll link along the side right here. If you're looking to grow on YouTube, we have a ton of videos to help you with that. I'll link to our playlist down below. Hope to see you in those in future videos. Bye-bye.